Hi everyone, I'm Salman Riaz from Era24 UK and in today's video we will be talking about how you can fix WordPress website. This is the error name is index of forward slash which you can see here and this error when you see what is causing the issue. So first we are going to uh, install WordPress and I'm going to take you step by step that you will understand if this thing happened to you it means which file is uh, corrupted or missing or deleted by mistake and how you can recover this file so let's get started so as you can see here um, this is the domain name panchor.com and you see here that we were talking about the main domain last time uh, i've made a video and i showed you with the index file uh, with html extension and php extension and today i'm going to install on the main domain that you can see how it will show up so i'm going to refresh for you and as you can see there is no change because this is the main domain website i mean the folder and then these are subdomain so we will not be talking about subdomains right now but first thing first we are going to install on the main domain so for that we need to go to soft Atlas. And once you are there, you can choose the domain, which I have chosen the main domain. <coughs> and, and now we are going to install with the same admin password by default. So I will click install button and now it is installing the WordPress. Once the WordPress is installed, now we are going back to our this tab, which is pancho.com main website. Now we are going to refresh. Here you go. You can see the default theme is activated and the website is showing the WordPress website. So background, I just show you what actually happened so this is the background of the main domain which is which you will find in public HTML as you can see right now these files so I'm going to refresh after this installation and you will see some more files here here you go so you can see this file subdomains these are two subdomains and the wordpress website folders and the other files as well as you will see here index index php so i'm just going to download it and now I am just going to um, delete and then show you how you will see the same error. So I am going to delete, click on it and you can delete. Once you have deleted, confirm now you will see more files because index file is deleted the same index of forward slash you will see but with more files now we are refreshing as you can see now you see two subdomains and other files and this is the main domain folder which was earlier showing before installing the wordpress so you can see the wordpress files as well if you see this kind of structure, it means your index file is deleted. 
are missing so how you can recover so as you know I have downloaded so I'm just going to see this um, see this file okay how we will recover I will go to upload and in upload I'm going to move this file so I'm going to move this file this file is uploaded now and you can see here 100% successfully we are coming back to cPanel here you don't see right now any index file you see there is no index file now I'm going to refresh and once you refresh you will see your index file here you go so this is the way you can resolve the error but before that I'm just going to show you is it showing the same website as earlier the default theme of WordPress right now the structure is like this I'm going to refresh it here you go so sometimes um, files change or if your website is hacked then you don't see the index PHP file which I showed you earlier and I'm going to show you once again this is the file so if this is a this file is deleted then you will see that error which is index of forward slash so no need to worry about just check your uh, website S try to find the index.php if you don't see this then just take this file from uh, wordpress uh, installation or from your another website the index file i can show you the index file how it looks like from inside which is um, you can see here it looks like that so for all kind of um, wordpress you will see the same structure and this is the default structure so either you can copy this code and then create a file with the extension dot php like here and save it and then you can upload it as i showed you here you upload in public HTML you have to see first and then upload and then you will find your index.php file here or from any other website you can just go to your cPanel download download and once you download then you should remember the, the folder or wherever you have downloaded uh, or you can just click here and then see your download um, file and then just bring it to your upload it's very simple if there is any confusion or you have any kind of question or you stuck somewhere you are most welcome to come to my uh, youtube channel uh, on this video and in comment section you can give your feedback um, i will help you as soon as possible and as much as possible if you like this video, uh, please don't forget to uh, subscribe, share and like that others can also get benefit of it. Um, and I can bring more videos like this so you can put your request in comment section. I will try my best to create more videos. Those can help you um, in this way. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.